Hey, what's going on guys? This is Dean from the Studio Department of the Station Public Library and we'll be doing another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So let's go on Adobe Premiere Pro and get our files ready. Okay, so we have all our all of our files. I'm just going to be working with two, just make it simple, quick and easy. And basically the first one we're going to do is a diagonal wipe. So I'll show you basically what it does first and we'll go from there. So if you just go into the effects folder and you type in page turn, and as you could see, you could put it between these. And it just simply turns the page. And it's a nice little effect, it's smooth and all that. So what we want to do instead is just gonna delete that, is we're gonna overlay this. And I just want to start from the beginning there. And once you overlay this, now what we want to do now is put the page turn on, but we're also going to use another effect. So as you can see here, it's kind of basically the same thing. Instead of it just puts it in, it just puts the page turn in as it did as the previous one. And now what you want to do is you want to type in Venetian. You want to type in Venetian blinds. And you want to make sure it's the transition one as it's in the transition folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag it onto this one. And now we're going to start from the beginning. Right there from the beginning. So what we want to do is basically we're going to go um, from keyframe from the beginning a hundred and at the end zero so we'll go over here and you want to click you want to type in a hundred and you're right from the beginning and you just want to click this and it adds a keyframe now you want to go towards the end of the clip you're gonna have to use the right arrow so it goes specifically and you want to just press zero and then enter so what that did was just create these lines here those lines don't seem much but they could do a lot with effects and everything so we want to start from the beginning on that first keyframe and what you could do here is you want to basically mess around with these and you want to mess around with the width and direction so if you just boost this a lot and you boost this a lot, as you can see, you get a cool little, cool little thing, a cool little uh, diagonal line here, and it just goes in smoothly. But as you can see here, if you could change it, you could do it this way, you could do it that way, do it with, you could really spread it out, and you could have uh, some cool little lines there, and just a nice little transition. And then what? one more thing, you could even have this feather if you want a nice little blur to it. But if you want just some nice clean lines and just a nice smooth transition, and you just take off the, the feather. And if you want to just say right lined up perfectly right to there and you have a nice little transition effect right there so the next one we'll be doing as we're just gonna just delete all this and start with a fresh new one just gonna drag our clips yet again and this one we're gonna do it's called scale in and up transition effect so you wanna go up there you wanna overlay it again And what you want to do is you have this scale over here. You have this little icon right here. You want to click. You want to click over here first. And we're just basically going to be going up, up, and up. And you want to just press this. But before you do that, you just want to click this so the keyframe registers. So then you just move over a little. You want to do 50 
Now we could just press enter since we entered in that keyframe. You want to do 75. And then you want to do 100. So if you go from the beginning there, some nice smooth little up, uh, n nice little smooth going into the next shot. But as you can see, it's kind of going like in and out. So you, what you want to do here is you want to highlight all of these, right click it, and as you can see it's on linear and that's why I was doing that. You want to put it on hold so all these frames hold in place. As you can see it's like quick, but it's a nice little transition that you could do. But to make this even better, you want to go to the effects and you want to go into eyedropper fill. And you don't want to put it on this clip, on the clip that we're working on here with the overlay. You want to do it on the one before. And just to make this easier, I'll even uh, cut this just in case it gets involved with the other one and doesn't have to do the entire clip. So back to the effects, you want to type in eyedropper fill. You want to just highlight it onto there right there. So what that do, does is it takes this middle right here and just kind of uh, this middle right here and just kind of takes that and fills it into the previous spot so it's similar colors. And something cool that you could do with this too is you could blend it to the original so it, it would look really smooth. So just put it at like 50 and as you can see the background is it's quick but uh, the background is still going it's still in the background is still taking from the previous shot and um, it's transu transitioning smoothly so that's like a called like a scale in and up just kind of like a bump and that's it for those two transitions and that's gonna be it for the tutorial guys thank you